about chemistry. So this is the section where we show you what we actually do in the experiment, the wet chemistry. And we need to make our calorimeter, which we make out of two large styrofoam cups, a lid, tin foil, aluminum foil, pardon me, which goes on top. And then here's the fun part of the experiment. Oh no, it didn't work. <laughs> Punch a hole in the lid. There, whoa, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's our calorimeter. And we actually need two thermometers because for the calibration, we're going to be mixing 50 milliliters, 50.00 milliliters of room temperature water with 50.00 milliliters of water that we have just poured off of ice. The two will mix. And the interesting thing is, they will not, as they mix, come to the temperature that's exactly in the middle because the calorimeter will absorb some heat. Actually, I should say the calorimeter will provide some heat. So, that, is, that said, let us first pour in 50 milliliters of room temperature water for this calibration. Okay, we let that settle a bit, swirl around, and read the thermometer to um, the, tenth, the tenth of a degree. The ice water, I have actually just poured off the water from a slurry of ice and water. We don't want any wet ice in there because that would absorb some heat as it melts. And we read the temperature of the ice water, which is nice and cold, but not really quite zero because it's no longer in contact with the ice. Okay, so when we're ready to start the experiment, we pour in the ice water and start the timer. Now, we don't take a, th a temperature reading right away. We wait 30 seconds, and we take a reading, continuously swirling as we're waiting for the 30 seconds. And then we take temperature readings every 30 seconds or so, or about five minutes. You will see with the calibration that the temperature levels off rather quickly to get the final temperature. Okay, so that was calibration, and since it's just water, we toss it down the drain. Reactions, on the other hand. Okay, we will have in our calorimeter the stated volume of liquid, and either pour in another liquid or a solid. And in this case, the liquid that we're using is hydrochloric acid for the Chem 1A experiment, or for the Chem 1B experiment, well, there's one with hydrochloric acid, and then there is one where you have water. But in either case, measure out the required volume of liquid. Pour this into the calorimeter. Okay. Swirl a bit, let it equilibrate. Read the initial temperature of the liquid in the calorimeter. And then get ready. Slide in the measured amount of solid. And start swirling. Start the timer. After 30 seconds, start reading the thermometer. Read it every 30 seconds for about seven or eight minutes. Okay, That will give the reaction enough time to have temperature, have heat flow, so the temperature of the liquid will go up and then level off and go down. Okay, so that's basically the calorimetry experiment. There is one additional temperature that needs to be taken. 
preferably around the time that you're doing the calibrations. And that is just simply room temperature of the air. Okay, so that is the end of the experimental video. And you'll get a separate video of calibrations. Pardon me, calculations. Thanks.